guys sorry to interrupt your video just a quick plea subscribe to my channel please if you haven't done it already subscribe tell your friends subscribe thanks hello again right seat belts okay so you're going to get loads of questions on the theory test about this so let's crack on i've gone to the highway code at the government website there it is gov.uk and if you go around to rules 99 to 102 you find all the rules regarding seat belts so let's go so rule 99 you must so that's a law wear a seat belt in cars vans and other goods vehicles if one is fitted fair enough that's the law if there's a seat belt you gotta wear it uh, adults and children aged 14 years and over must use a seat belt or child restraint where fitted when seated in a minibus or in minibuses buses and coaches Exemptions are allowed for the holders of medical exemption certificates and those making deliveries or collections in vehicles when traveling less than 50 meters. So therefore, Mr. UPS van can just nip between houses as he's going down the road. Okay, this medical exemption, you've got to have a certificate from a doctor sign you off. Now that can apply to anyone um, in various circumstances. So for instance, if you had a pacemaker fitted, uh, so you've had your chest cut open then the um, doctors don't normally want you going home with a seat belt over because that's going to cause problems of course there's the risk that you might die on the way home if you have a car crash but you know hey ho so but that's an example of a medical exemption certificate right seat belt requirements here we go right so driver uh seat belt must be worn if fitted so if there's a seat belt you've got to wear it and who's responsible driver Notice the driver is responsible for blooming everything. If they're in your car, you're the one getting the fines if someone's not wearing a seatbelt, unless the last one, but we'll come to that. Right, a child under three years of age. A child restraint must be used if one is not um, available in a normal car, you can't take that child in the car. All right. If one is not available in a taxi, then you may travel unrestrained. Oof. But if I was to give you a lift, I can't carry someone who's under three years old. Right. So child from third birthday upwards up to 1.35 meters in height uh, or 12th birthday, whichever is first. Uh, correct child restraint must be used where seat belts are fitted. Must use adult belt if correct child restraint is not available in a licensed taxi or private hire vehicle or for reasons of unexpected necessity over short distances or if two occupied restraints prevent a fitment of a third i.e let's say you've got three children they need three seats but the car is only wide enough to fit two child seats in the back then you can put one on the front okay um a child over 1.35 meters uh, in height or 12 or 13 they must wear a seat belt if um, available so we notice here so it's if you're under 1.35 meters then you must have booster seat child seat that sort of thing but over 1.35 meters then you've got to wear a um, adult seat belt now if an adult passenger aged 14 and over is in the car then it is their own responsibility to wear a seat belt However, if there is someone in the car and they are unrestrained, they can still kill you. You are twice as likely to die, I think it is, if um, I was driving a car and I had a car crash, but the person behind me didn't have a seatbelt, I'm twice as likely to die because of them. They're going to crush me. Okay. Now, I will be showing you videos, but I will warn you before I go into them how bad they get. They get progressively worse, just to point out why we do what we do. All right, uh, but I will warn you so you can bail out early if you want to. So the nut, you know, if we were to sum that all up in the nutshell, basically it's if you are 14 and over, then you must wear a seatbelt where one is available and it is your own responsibility. Anybody under 14, this is the responsibility of the driver and they must have suitable child seat booster seats whatever based upon their height available the only exception uh, is if you're in a taxi for under three if it's under three then i can't even take someone if they haven't got a seat um, 
but you can also have a reason of unexpected necessity. If we go to which, which these guys, um, it is. So you've got to wear a suitable one for their height and weight. Uh, you've got. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Right here we go. So this is. Um, <coughs> There we go. A doctor can issue an exemption certificate if a child is unable to use a restraint or seatbelt because of their condition. So going back to what I was saying earlier, unless you've got a medical certificate to exempt you. Um, children under three can travel without a car, child seat or seatbelt, but only in a rear seat in a taxi. All right. Children aged three or older can travel in the rear seat without a child seat if they wear an adult seatbelt. Fine. Uh, you can be fined up to £500, so that's the driver of course, if a child under 14 isn't correctly belted up. This is what I was saying to you about no room in the back, um, then you have to move on to the front. Um, right, if you have an unexpected but necessary journey, this was the exemption wasn't it, that we saw earlier on, uh, over a short distance and don't have the correct child seat, um, then a child over three years old can use an adult seat belt. But do notice the bit in bold, picking up a friend's child from a school does not count as unexpected. <laughs> if you know that's where they are and you're going to do that, you must have a booster seat available. Uh, but I suppose if you saw them walking along the street and you just gave them a lift home, eh. but is that necessary? <sighs> Don't know. Um... There we go. All right. So that's the rules on that. Here we go. So rule 100, a driver must, so that's a law, ensure that all children under 14 years of age wear a seatbelt or sit in an approved child restraint where required. If a child is under 1.35 meters or four and a half inches effectively, uh, then a baby seat, child seat, booster seat or booster cushion must be used for suitable for the child's weight because they come in different categories okay uh, so no 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 this is a throwback to when i was a kid and yes 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 okay um here we go rule 101 a rear facing baby seat must not be fitted into a seat protected by an active frontal airbag as in a crash it can cause serious injury or death i'll come to that you'll find out why it's because they sit very if you've got a backward facing or rearward facing seat it's very near the airbag and if that goes off you'll see what happens um, right and then you've got rule 102 children in cars vans and other goods vehicles drivers who are carrying children in cars vans and other goods vehicles should also ensure that children should get into the vehicle on the nearest side curb so away from the traffic uh, child restraints are fitted as per the manufacturer's instructions where well, you've got to do that anyway Children do not sit behind a rear seats in an estate car or hatchback unless a special child seat has been fitted. So, i.e., in case there's a third row of seats in the boot, for instance. I think Vauxhall did that. Um, the child safety door locks where fitted are used where children are in the vehicle. So you've got little locks on the back, a little switch that you normally flick up and it stops them from opening the back doors from inside the car. And you've got to ensure children are kept under control. I don't think you're out to tranquilize them, but you know, give them an iPad. They're gonna throw it out the window, can't they? Right, so that's your rules. Okay, so you, driver, are responsible for everyone until they become 14 and over. All right, and up to 1.35 meters tall, they must have a booster seat, child seat, whatever. All right, now. On to videos. Okay, so I've gone to, what's that? Gabe Heatherly. Right, okay, so this is the fire brigade in America. Um, and they're doing a rear facing car seat versus a front passenger airbag. So there's the seat, as you can see, it's all set up there, clipped into place, but it's near an airbag. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that's gonna smart. I think that's pretty convincing. Yeah. <laughs>